hello one year no beer i'm putting my glove on because it's freezing man it is just stunning today the sun's just gone behind a cloud unfortunately but oh my goodness god it's here walking i feel like i should be cross-country skiing so uh oh i just thought i'd do another video <laughs> just to entertain myself on my walk i've uh done myself a little challenge of the last four months i've committed to 500,000 steps a month it's an average about 16 and a half thousand a day and today i've literally got another 3,000 to do <laughs> From when I set off and I've done half a million again this month and February is a shorter month so I'm tough to bits with that I'm not doing it next month but I'm doing a minimum of twelve and a half thousand a day for the whole year it stops me having those lazy days and after my post yesterday Jennifer lovely Jennifer from Canada uh, posted and uh, she said she didn't really see much of a change in her in a body or anything, not drinking. I didn't really either, because I was too busy shoving sugar in my face. So I'm seeing this as part two. You know, I want to do myself more challenges, not necessarily massive ones. I'm not going to do another Ironman just yet. I might do one next year, just for a laugh. <laughs> but uh, so I really up my walking, really get my activity going, back doing my hit, you know, lots of spinning and all sorts of stuff. I'm eating well. I've done sugar-free February. Uh, yes, I have. I've decided I didn't do have any obvious sugars, just got chocolate, um, pretty ice cream, all that stuff. And it's really bizarre. I'm I'm using what I learned with one year no beer with my alcohol. And it's literally this time last year. I was, uh, when I got to 25 days sugar-free in February, I had those familiar feelings. I thought, oh, I wonder if I could carry on. And when I was alcohol free, this time last year, when I got to day 25, I committed to the 90. And it was ace, so I've done the same with sugar. I've never, ever, ever done three months without sugar. So to imagine that and alcohol free, I can't wait, I tell you. So I'm doing my steps and what I'm gonna focus on in March is more sleep. More sleep for me <laughs> in March. I don't get enough, I get good sleep. I'm very lucky I fall to sleep really easily. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be sugar free, alcohol free, shitloads of fitness, and focus on more sleep. So that means stop taking my iPad to bed. So I just wanna say, I really do want it to be part two of transformation. Because I don't wanna waste all that effort being alcohol free just faffing around eating shit and not looking after myself. And do you know what's really helped me? The doctor, Stevenson was it, who did that Ace podcast a couple of co podcasts ago, just before my podcast. <laughs> just throwing it in there. If you haven't listened to my podcast, go and listen. <laughs> but it was brilliant. And do you know what his top number one thing was? And I've always sort of thought it, but to listen to it and have it told and the importance of it, impeccable self-care. And that can come in many forms. And that's, so that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm getting out walking, lots of it. Not I don't dawdle like this. I get a shift on when I'm not talking to you. Uh, more sleep, sugar-free, alcohol-free. These are all the things you can do without even going to a gym, you know. Water, plenty of water. So just, I'd love to know what you, all, you lot are doing, you know. And, and do you know what, just for interest, I'm, I'm probably not referring to like the big fitness challenges because they're ace and I do love them. But what are the small things that you're doing that are making a difference? You know, I tell you two things, two, th look, two things, excuse me, two things that you can do that doesn't cost anything it will make the bit be better than any press up better than any anything any avocado is sleep and water so have a go at that have some of that <laughs> 444 that's my cue to be off i don't know if it'll stop because i've got my glove on oh my god right let me try and turn you off so have a good day oh i'm cold but you are oh fuck 
Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to take this off. I do, I'm sorry for my language. Really sorry. Like, these have got Reynards. Oh, bye.